Hey guys, welcome back to my investment journey series. This is now episode 21, believe it or not. 21 weeks in a row I've been doing this, reviewing my Trading212 portfolio, sharing it with the world, sharing it with all you YouTube people out there. And yeah, episode 21, like I say, I've not really been following the stock market or my investments that much this week. So again, it's gonna be a bit of me going in blind, kind of see what's happened. I have made a few investments this week, but literally I opened up the Trading212 account, made my investments and then kind of closed it, trying to get into the habit of not checking it religiously because really there's not much point. Again, I'm long-term in this. If you've been watching all my previous videos, doing this now long enough, and really patience is the key. I'm sticking to my investments. I'm gonna keep putting money into them when I can, and that's really my sort of plan. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video when we get into it here. If you're new to this, my name's Ian. I've been investing since the beginning of April when we entered lockdown here in the UK. Figured it was a good time to get into the world of stock markets, investing, all that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, maybe consider subscribing to my channel, hit the subscribe button below, I'd really appreciate it. And also join in the comments below. Love connecting with all you guys and getting a bit of a discussion going. It really does help make this whole YouTube process that I'm doing a lot more enjoyable. So yeah, please do that. And always give it a like as well if you enjoy this sort of stuff, I'll keep doing it. So we'll now jump over to my iPhone screen again, like I always do. We will go through how things have been looking this past week. I'll tell you what's happened and I'll try and keep it a bit shorter this week. I think the last few videos have been dragging on a little bit again. I kind of get too caught up speaking about things in my portfolio. So this week I'm gonna kind of skim through it and we'll just kind of get it done and then you can let me know what you think in the comments. So hope you enjoy. Uh, once again, Hugo is here. Don't know if you saw the last video last week on uh, episode 20. He wouldn't leave my alone, so he had to be in the video. He's been a bit quieter today. So he's actually sitting beside me instead of trying to get involved too much. But yeah, he might become a regular addition to the channel. So you might be seeing more of this face. And I guess that's better than seeing this face. So, you know, it could work out well. Anyway, let's get on to it. Let's get into the investments. Thanks again for watching, guys. And we will speak to you soon. There we go, guys. So let's open up Trading212 account, as I always do. Head to my portfolio page. Like I said, I'll try and keep this one a bit shorter. So fingers crossed we can manage. So eyes of utilization, 32%. Portfolio value overall, 8,152 pound 45 pence. Return is currently showing 220 pound eight pence. So it's up 2.77% overall this portfolio. If we'll stick on the weekly view, like I always do here. So go to weekly view and we look at last week. So Sunday, 16th August, so just the weekend. The return was shown 271 pound 50 pence. So the portfolio was 3.75% in the green, 3.75% positive, and the value overall was £7,516.72. So as you can see, us jumped up from 751672 to 815245. That is because I did deposit more money into my Trading212 account. So I'll get into that and show you where that's went. But let's just have a quick skim through here. So American Airlines, Cine World, both in the green, Hive Group's red. The ETFs I've got here, we're seeing green, green, green red, red, green, and then a load of red there, and then the FTSE Emerging Markets are still green. So that's looking okay, I guess, considering everything that's going on in the world. Let's now jump into the investments here individually. So American Airlines, from last week, it is down 8.63%. Two shares are currently worth £18.58. Moving on, Cine World Group, weekly view. That's now showing, from last week, it's actually showing a 0% change, so something's maybe a bit dodgy there, or that's potentially what actually was last week. It's possible. It might not be shown correctly. I'm not too sure what's going on there. I've not really seen that happen before. Um, but the investment overall, my 200 shares, is worth £101.92. So we're still up overall with this 34.64% in the green, so that's quite a healthy return. Moving on to Hive Group here in the red. No real shock there, no real surprise. So from last week, it's down 0.40%. And the 25 shares I've got are still kind of worth the same as last week, so £20.49. The iShares Core FTSE 100, I did actually buy a bit more of this earlier this week. And let me just go into the history here and I'll show you. So it was actually yesterday. So this is Saturday, so I actually bought Friday 25 shares in the FTSE 100. I initially bought 20 and then I decided to buy five more. And if we look at the... If we just go back here, stick on the weekly view. So yeah, from last week, it's actually dropped 1.41%. 
which is a pretty significant amount considering the size of my investment here in the FTSE 100. So I've got 345 units now, which is a value of £2,046.18. But the return is still in the green, it's still looking pretty positive. It's up 4.37%, so I'm happy with that still. And again, as always, this is a long-term investment for me. Moving down to the S&P 500 ETF, looking at the weekly view from last week, it is up 0.49%. Overall, my 80 units is worth £2,064.38. So it's currently showing a pretty healthy return, £171.37. So 9.05% up overall in the portfolio. Coming down to the NASDAQ 100. So I did actually purchase another unit of the NASDAQ this week. I'll go into the history first and we can see when that was. So history view, I actually bought one more unit in this ETF yesterday. So again, this is Saturday, so I bought on Friday. And that, as you can see there, was worth what cost me £494.23. It's an extremely expensive ETF to buy into. But if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know why. The, the worth and the value of the companies that's in this ETF, it, it just makes sense. And with everything that's happened lately with Apple reaching, I think, their £2 trillion, And then just the whole technology sector overall is just sky high. It's just a rocket right now. And... You can just see it here. I mean, looking at the weekly view from last week, it's jumped 3.56%, which is just, it's amazing. You know, I really wish I bought this at the start of the week. And the thing is, I was actually going to buy another unit in this ETF, the NASDAQ 100 at the start of the week, but I never did. And I kind of waited until the end of the week, which is when it was at its all time high. So maybe I might regret that if things start coming down in price next week and I'll think, oops, that was a mistake. But again, you cannot time the market as you're about to see in a minute when I show you what's happened with the gold recently. But yeah, NASDAQ 100, big fan of this. Definitely a long-term hold, big fan of technology. I work in technology sector myself in IT. Technology is just going to keep going up in my opinion. So happy to have this, happy to increase this over time. So from last week, like I say, 3.56% up and yeah, looking good. iShares Physical Gold ETF. You're about to see what I mean about how you cannot time the market. So from last week, first of all, it is down 0.7%. And if we just look here at the monthly view, so I bought into gold, I think it was two videos ago, so roughly around episode 17 or episode 18 of my Trading 212 review that I'm doing. And this was the point I actually bought into gold here. So I literally bought in when it was pretty much at its all-time peak for the last three months. And it, look what happened. It just As soon as I pretty much bought it, it decided to come crashing down and it's not really recovered since. So again, guys, you cannot time the market. Don't care what anyone says, unless you're a time traveler, and if you are, please hit me up, because I think we could be best of friends. But yeah, not looking great for gold at the moment. I think it's recent rally that was going on. If we look at the yearly view, it was rallying for a, a good period of time, and maybe that rally is now over, who knows? But again, it helps diversify the portfolio, so I'm happy to keep it there, and I will keep it for the long term. Moving down to the S&P 500 healthcare sector ETF from last week, it's down 0.94%. My 38 units are currently worth £229.38. So I'm currently down by a 2.5% with this one. Legal and general group from last week, it's down 0.8%. My 145 shares currently worth £324.06. Currently showing that return there at £28.54. So it's actually an increase overall with this investment of 9.66%. So again, another long-term hold here, happy with that. Moving on to MGM Resorts, nothing's changed here really in terms of the amount of shares that I hold. Still got my five shares. From last week, it's down 2.98% overall. So we're showing that negative return of £8.91. So it's down 9.93% in the portfolio. National Grid's next up, my three free shares. And looking at the weekly view, down 1.88% from last week. So my three shares I hold here are currently worth £26.25. So it's actually shown a negative return right now of minus £2.01. So it's down 7.11%. Coming down to Royal Dutch Shell. Again, one of my biggest investments. Weekly view. So it's actually dropped by 5.26% from last week, which is not very good to see. Again, though, long term, not really worried about these weekly fluctuations, these daily changes, etc. And looking at my 78 shares, currently worth a value of £836.14. So that's now showing that negative return of £157.72, which means it's down by 15.87% overall. 
Coming down to Under Armour, my two free shares that I received from people signing up through referral links of mine. Looking at the weekly view, it's actually down by 9.31%, pretty significant amount. So my two shares currently worth £14.85. So showing that negative return there of minus £1.15, down by 7.19% overall. Coming on to Volaris, again, my worst ever investment to date. Looking at the weekly view, again, I don't really know what's going on here. It's, it's showing 0.00% change from last week. Don't know if that's maybe a problem with the, the data that's being received in Trading212. Maybe it's not reading things right. I'm not too sure. If you guys have seen this happen before in your Trading212 with your investments, let me know in the comments, please. Anyway, looking at the 26 shares that I hold here in Volaris, they're currently worth £6.48. So that's shown a negative return, down £38.3. And it's actually shown, like I say, 85.44% negative return. So yeah, really, like I say, extremely bad. Again, if anyone out there watching this has an investment that's actually worse off than this one in terms of the percentage, so like I say, negative 85.44%, let me know in the comments section. Be interested to hear what that is you're investing into. Possibly it's Vladis like me here. And if so, let's just hope for the best in the future but no point selling it I mean why would I sell 26 shares just to get £6.48 I may as well just hold out for now and uh, yeah that's really all I've got to say about this one and uh, moving on to the FTSE Emerging Markets ETF looking at the weekly view from last week it's actually up by 0.51% and my 21 units actually I think I did purchase another unit in this let me check yep so yesterday again on the Friday 21st of August I purchased another unit in this ETF, bringing me from 20 units to 21 units. So I've now got 21 units worth £955.50, and that's now shown a positive return of £87.36. So it's actually up overall by 10.06%. So I'm chuffed with that. Again, emerging markets, big fan. I like the way it diversifies your portfolio, have investments in all these other countries in the world, and I'll continue to have this long term for my portfolio. So that's investments. Moving down to the allocation view, so 15 investments. S&P 500 is still the top, 25.32% of my portfolio, followed by the FTSE 100, which is 25.10% of the portfolio. The change here is now the NASDAQ 100. That's in the third position. It was previously the emerging markets. So my NASDAQ 100 is now taking up 12.17% of my portfolio. And then you can see the emerging markets at 11.72%. And then everything else is kind of at the 10, well, the shell is at 10.26%. And everything below that, sorry, is under the 10% mark, as you can see there. And then just looking at the order history for this week. So I bought the 20 units, like I said, in the FTSE 100 again. Then I bought one in the NASDAQ 100. Then I decided to buy five more in the FTSE 100. And then I bought another one in the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets. Moving to the dividends. No dividends have been received this week. I think I do have some coming up either next week or the week after. So there'll be some updates on that when that happens. And again, if you're watching this and you're considering getting involved in the world of investing, I recommend the Trading212 app, which is currently what I'm using. It's currently what you're watching just now. And this is my link you can see here on the screen. If you sign up with this link, don't worry, I don't expect you to type that out. There'll be a link you can click on in the description below this video. And I'll also pin a comment in the comment section below this video. If you click that link, sign up, create an account, you will receive a free share worth up to the value of £100 with Trading212 and I will also receive a free share worth up to £100 of Trading212. So if you do decide to do that, leave my comment please, let me know what free share you receive and I will also let you know what free share I get from your sign up. And thanks if you do, really do appreciate it. And that's all there is for this week guys. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this quicker skim through. Please do leave a comment below, consider subscribing, like the video if you do like this and I will catch you very soon. Got a new video coming out next week, early next week, hopefully, all around, well, actually, I'll keep it a surprise. So there you go, there's your reason to subscribe to the channel so you can find out what that next video will be. And until next time, guys, thanks again, and I will hopefully speak to you soon in the comments.